Hey, what's up? It's uh, just about 2 o'clock on, what, a Sunday? And I uh, thought we'd do an hour or two of streaming. So we'll... Uh, I actually played a little bit last night uh, off stream, and basically all I did was let these sifters go. Uh, and, you know, tried to tried to get some materials. I've already uh, dumped them into here, uh, but I, I definitely got um, definitely got a lot of stuff out of it. So. The only thing that I really don't like about the transmatter terminal is that there is no scroll bar. So we may be uh, we may be switching to a, uh, a fracking universe uh, terminal simply because this does have a scroll bar, and you can see everything you've got, uh, which I think is probably what I would prefer. Um, because I will be able to, you know, see that I have 99 cryonic extracts and 1400 crystal urgeous fuel, right? Like, that is, that is, um, way more convenient. Uh, the only thing I like about the, <clears throat> the transmatter network is that, uh, you know, this, this fridge, uh, does have 300 slots, but it takes up, you know, a 3 by 4 uh, space, whereas the transmatter terminal, I have these drive bays that are uh, three 2 by 3 spaces, and uh, I only have one drive bay actually installed right now, or one drive actually uh, with any items on it, and it contains literally all of my stored materials. So, in terms of space, uh, much more convenient. Um, those are done. So, I think uh, what I want to do is I want to... Well, I guess I, I'm a little bit torn. I either, I either do, uh, do dungeons or quests or something like that. I'd like to do more than something a little bit different than just exploring stuff. Um, I do need to make a molten core, and I have not started the Peacekeeper quest at all, which uh, I probably should do, but gosh, that seems like a real habit, uh, a real hassle. I saw Havoc, and so I was going to say Havoc. A real Havoc. Um... Attack combo by ribs. Oh, I'm assuming the person who made it is ribs. 50 brains. Ancient remote. I think I have the ancient remote. Yeah, I do. Um, what I want to do then... I want to double check that I've got all the artifacts. Uh, actually in my inventory. I don't think I want to put those uh, in this transmatter storage. And that's actually a really compelling reason uh, to, you know, not do stuff like this. Right, because since you can't see everything, you have to you have to be able to look it up. So what other things do we have? I looked up Ancient and I looked up Artifact. Um, yeah. And it's, it's definitely really helpful, you know, for space saving, because it does go above 9,999. I just I don't like the search, so I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little torn. But we'll we'll, uh, we'll leave that for now. I think that's pretty much all the artifacts that I've gotten so far, right? I don't think you get a ton of them. Ooh, 
researched, 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 researched. Okay, we've researched everything. So that means we should be able to go to the science outpost and uh, turn some of these in. And look at that, we got a shrouded queen. That's a new one. I actually did have a cybernetic already, but... <laughs> With it, you can purchase goods and services. Uh, so it does make me want to double check. Um, do I have any other um, other quests that I can pick up? No, I do not. So that's rather unfortunate. I mean, it 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 is pretty clear that I've done most of the science outpost quests already. Right. There are some left in science. Um, maybe I could uh, get these things done. Yeah, actually, let's work on let's work on that. That'll be that'll be a, a good change of pace, and it will allow me to um, work my way towards some upgrades. So what we want to do, let's look at this one. So Ignis Chili Seeds, we'll have to, we'll have to check those out. And I don't even I don't even remember which one the seed one is ever. Okay. So chill. Ignis Chili needs pyrogenic, chili seed, resistance, and reactive. Pyrogenic chili seed resistance reactive. I don't think I have pyrogenic. I do not. And I do not have my chili seeds there. I'll bet you anything, though, you get uh, pyrogenic from extracting from chili seeds. No, not control. It is shift. So let's get all my... only one chili seed. All right, I'm probably not even growing a chili, but there are uh, occasionally other plants that will give you the... Uh, the seeds. I will. Oops, I will not take all. I'll take half. And I'll take a. Come on. I will take another half of that to extract. I, I, I'm not a hundred percent positive, but I have a feeling. Um, chili seeds will give me pyrogenic. Um, at the Xeno Lab, which is—I don't think I actually have a Xeno Lab down. Oh God! Don't say I like destroyed it or something. No, it's right here. And yeah, I do not have a Xeno Lab down anywhere. Yep, it's right there. Okay, so we'll pop in our seeds. I'll cross our fingers. Do we get pyrogenic? Yes, we do. Awesome. So this will be the last thing I need. And I will be able to make Ignis Chili. Hot, hot, hot fiesta. All right, so now I can craft pyrogenic if I need it again. Boom, done. 
So just to double check, what did Ignis actually take? Four resistance, four pyrogenic. Okay, that's fine. Um, advanced Xenolab. AI chip nuclear core dense alloy. Uh, do I have a nuclear core? I've got the molten core. Um, I do not have a nuclear core. Dense alloy. Yep, got plenty of that. Um, then I have to remember what I need for a uh, for a nuclear core. Okay, lead circuit. Uh, rod helium processor. Lead circuit rod helium processor. Oh good, I got a lot. Uh, what was it? Plutonium? I honestly don't even remember. I think it was plutonium. Uh, helium. And then uh, processor. Advanced processor. Yep. Boom. Man. It's mostly just like I don't I don't actually craft the stuff that I'm supposed to. Um, so let's make three. War Angel. Griffin controller, Sentinel controller. Oh, those are the uh, the controllers. Those are the really high-level uh, ships. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the little flying flying ships. I would want one that doesn't require cannons. Uh, but it appears they all do. The Reaver controller is probably the lowest level one. And I would imagine the Griffin controller is the highest because it requires the most plastic. Um, oh, I actually need the Xenolab too. <laughs> right, because it actually uh, is, you know, an upgrade for the Xenolab. I guess that settles it. I suck. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, 50 brains I'm not going to be able to do. Uh, the green finger metal. I wonder if I have that. Yup. Uh, rad leaves. Okay. How can I get rad leaves? Rad, is rad grass gonna make rad leaf? I honestly have no idea. Well, can I figure it out? I have one rad leaf. Man, you can't you can't figure everything out. Um, rad grass. I'm gonna assume it's rad grass. So we're gonna make some rad grass. Immunization, corrosive, miracle grass.
And I doubt I have Miracle Grass here. Yeah. Let's hope I have some here. Um, I do. I have Miracle Grass Seeds. Do I actually have... I also have Miracle Grass Rush. Okay. Um... You know, I'd actually really like to have uh, another row of um, of farming. I'd really like to expand that. So, kind of annoyingly, I think uh, I think the way I do this is I actually have to uproot everything here. I'm gonna have to redo all of my um, all of my item network stuff. Yeah, gosh, that's irritating. Um, well, I guess I don't have to do a ton. I'm going to need to do the the item network to the fridge, because if I just did another row all the way up here, I could just dump everything onto here. And I think that's probably okay. Otherwise, I could just add three hydro trays. How big are they? Maybe like that. That, that. Yeah, maybe we just do that. Um, they need to be powered. Can't, is it not going to let me put them there, or is it just that I'm not close enough? It might be that I'm not really allowed to place anything outside the um, the ship, which I suppose makes sense. Well, I suppose uh, there's there's a way, a really easy way to test this. Does the solar array produce in here? Uh, and we'll do it like this. Oh crap! I'll need to. <laughs> uh, I need some blocks. God oh, dang it! I don't want to use obsidian. That takes too long to mine. Actually, I, I do like the uh, the tack. Uh, it says I can place it there, but it won't actually let me. Interesting. Well, how do I want to do this then? Let's just go like this. And if we take this, we plop it down, and we wire this like that. Boom. Okay. Generate seven power. Easy. So that's uh, that's good. That uh, that saves us quite a bit of hassle here. Um, I am, however, going to move this Terramart shipment. And we are going to 
dump those bricks. Um, I do want to just double check. I, I believe this is accurate that you can't actually uh, build above the ship. Yeah. Cannot build above the station. Okay. That's fine. Just double checking. What I can do, however, is I'm going to be able to place a solar array like that. three hydro trays and what do we have alright so these are gonna be as always our uh, Right, our first three inputs interesting that it still allows that to be <laughs> in the seed slot um, Uh, yeah, so that set up, that's all well and good. Um, I think what I want to do then, um, let's, let's do that, open up some space. I, and, uh, because I'm because I'm a total idiot, I'm actually going to write this down this time. Oh, I have everything. Okay, uh, I'm gonna assemble the rad grass seeds. Um, I would like to make some fertilizer. Superior fertilizer, alien compound, nitrogen, magnesium sulfate, methyl iodide. I don't think you can make methyl, I don't think you can find methyl iodide, you have to make it. So, alien compound, nitrogen, magnesium sulfate. Nitrogen. Um, I do have a little bit of methyl iodide. It must have been uh, from my last base when I was making fertilizers. Um, we can't make a lot. Methyl iodide is definitely um, our uh, our bottleneck here. So we need methanol, iodine, phosphorus. Iodine and phosphorus. Got a lot of that stuff. So I'll be able to make a mind boggling amount of methyl iodide. I can make basically a thousand. Um, we are going to make, uh, I don't know, let's say. 50 stacks. Oh boy, that's slow. <laughs> well, how y'all doing? I suppose we'll just sit here. So this will, uh, this will let me make, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll start with 200 fertilizer. And that is a lot of fertilizer. Right? I'll make 10 stacks of fertilizer. I should probably make all of this other new stuff as well. Just in case it's going to unlock something for me. 
20. Oh, no. Well, let's do 15. That's a good compromise, then. Okay, it just, uh, that's it. Oh, uh, and I also want um, one of the liquids. Is, is beer actually going to be good for this? Growth rate plus two and plus one produce. Uh, otherwise, I know uh, liquefied crystal is pretty good. Growth rate plus 2.5 and plus 2 produce and uses less seeds. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. There, we have 200 there. Power zero out of two. Um, okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, oh, is liquid crystal uh, fertilizer? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Why are they? Why are they taking damage? What is what is that? What yeah, why? I mean, it looks bad because there's like blood, but then there's also a bunch of plus signs like they're healing. What? What is it? What would do that? Man, I have no idea. Well, whatever. Um, I'm not gonna not gonna risk having all my stuff die. It, oh, I'm electrified. Is that maybe it? I don't know though. Um, yeah. So we are not using the liquefied crystal. We want a regular liquid instead. Yeah. So I think we'll do the whole organics thing. Sorry, my neighbor's mowing their lawn. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but... I'm not trying to be obnoxious, I swear. Okay, organic soup is, in fact, a liquid. And then we want to do our rad grass. And look at that! Growth rate is 16.5. Yeah, this should go. This should go relatively quick, uh, which which is good. Very good. Oh wait, we need these to give to the dude for his quest. Uh, yeah. So we're already on our first stage. Now let's look at what else we can do. Um, crystalline trophy. Uh, that might be another one I've got in the. Um, gonna say I think I've done all of those uh, dungeon quests do I kill them by looking at them anymore no I don't okay so it must have been because I was electrified
So this is uh, this is going to be a pretty good way of growing some stuff when I need to. Uh, light in the darkness. I need Unforta. And I need to do all of that brewing stuff. Yeah, so I need Unforta. Unforta seeds, I actually think, is, is what it means, right? Light in the darkness. Yep, I need Unforta seeds. Ooh. Mushroom seed, bioluminescent, and reactive. All right, let's hope we've got bioluminescent. Yep. Right, no seeds in there. Um. Mushroom, yeah. People with their uh, with their push mowers, I tell ya. Uh, okay, we've got everything we need. I can make a forta. We're gonna make two. Oh. So, did that unlock another quest for me or no? Yes, it did. Uh, if you can build a glass furnace with a power station, glass furnace. Okay. Man, I, c I can grab the one that I have, but they're already. Well, I guess it's not like a big deal. I mean, they're hooked up, but it's literally just. Uh, no, man. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to make another one. Because I'm, I'm too lazy to take it out. Ah. I don't want to do that, though. Alright, I guess. You know, it's for the greater good. Oh. Great. Great, just great. All right, so then there to there and there uh, to there. That should be it, and then we can uh, not that that and that. That's just blocking off those uh, those output slots. Keeps them from, um, like, you know, because the next one gets pulled, right? My ITD is set to not pull from the first three inputs on all of these uh, crafting devices. Um, so that's that. That's, like, the everything. Uh, we'll double check and see if there's something else that that opens up. Dark stained glass. Huh. I mean, if there's a there's a quest whose requirement is dark stained glass. Is that actually an item? I'm actually going to uh, look on the wiki for that. Dark stained glass. Oh, okay. That's easy. 
it just turns out that you need to go to the science outpost anyways. So now that I've got, um, I do need the Radley, so let's see how that's coming along. Um, wow, we've done uh, a whole bunch of three cycles. Okay, so there's plenty of rad leaf. Um, I think. Can I just um, can I just go like there to there and have that work? I don't think so. I think you need to have. Uh, an, you need to have an ITD for every container you want to move. So I can't just do that. Okay, so we've got enough rad, gla uh, rad glass, rad grass. Uh, so now I... Well, this is going to be a little bit quicker, I suppose. Beam up to the ship and then beam back down to the science outpost. We'll be able to... Uh, we'll be able to turn in, like, five quests, six quests. And hopefully that'll give us some of the some of the new ones. Yep, so we got that guy. No signal from the lab on Delta Freya 2, not even static off to investigate this. Blah blah blah. All my friend, all the teleporters appear to be down. I can't get rid of them if you find a way there. Can you search for Wagner and you get Noxium? All right. Big bag of pixels. Yeah, no problem, dude. Ah, you have a quest for me. Dark stained glass. Okay, that's easy. I just need to dump a little bit of obsidian into the blast furnace, and that will make black glass. Take this alloy. It's carbon plate. It's not an alloy. Bring a Cthulhu statue. All right, so I might, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do it now or if I'm going to do it later, but I might actually get rid of all the combustion generators. They really don't deliver a ton of power. And if, um, if solar arrays or solar towers are going to work just as well. Advanced alloy and uranium. So there's the fission reactor, and then we can make the quantum reactor. I don't think I have all that stuff. Liquid. Let me look up liquid. I have neither of those. <laughs> I do not have liquid deuterium or. Um, whatever the other liquid I needed was. Um, <clears throat> so, I suppose what we will do is we will put a little bit of... Coal? How much coal do I have? Okay. I do not need a lot of coal for this. Probably be good with that even. And then uh, I 
also don't need a lot of obsidian. Sure, 250 is still more than I need. Um, yeah, coal goes into the crafting. So, there we go. I was going to say, it should get going pretty soon here. And I'll... Uh, what else? Okay, I can take contraband. I need an AI chip. Well, I think I have AI chips on me, right? Okay, so I have to go deliver it to him. Uh, anything else open up? Yes, smelting masterclass. Uh, arc smelter. Yeesh. So I think that one is a little bit above me right now. The arc smelter needs a heck of a lot of stuff. I don't have any isogen. I've got pyrite. I think I have deuterium rods. I can make molten cores. So isogen is the bottleneck here. All right. Um, so let's deliver that AI chip then. Someone else has a question for me then. Bring me some tritium. Gosh, I don't I don't know how I don't know how you do that. We'll figure it out. I do have some tritium already. I need one. Okay, that's all they that's all they needed. Just to see it. Wow. 75% boost to fuel efficiency. That's really good. We got the contract, but we did not get attack. measures. An atmospheric regulator. I actually don't think I can uh, do that yet. Yeah, it's like I have to make one of these and then it lets me make a regulator. Well, I suppose they're all doable. They're both doable. 
gold bars. We can do gold bars. Yeah, okay, that's the one that lets you do. Ooh, boy. <laughs> that gets a heck of a lot more difficult. God. You want to borrow that and give me 25,000 for it? It's worth 400 grand. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's not happening. Um, atmospheric condenser seems really cool though. I kind of want to grab one um, and just carry it around with me. Throw it down on some planets. Because I, I have never even made one before. So, titanium quantum processor power core. One power core. Quantum processor. There we go. I need power cores. We make those here. What else do I need? Static cell and Neptunium. This is the one thing I don't like about Tracking Universe is the constant like moving back and forth. Oh god, what else did I need? Titanium power core. I'm I'm Googling it. Fracking Universe Power Core. Static Cell. It's like, I don't... It probably would have been faster to just go back down, but... There we go. Let's just make a bunch. I've got tons of the materials for them. Let's even make more than that. Let's make another 15. And I think I'm going to make five, uh, five nuclear cores. Six, how about, okay. Um, yeah, whatever, that's fine. Atmospheric condenser. A lot of these things, like, we're starting to get up to the um, the levels of stuff that I've never putzed around with. So, you know, I've never had a quantum reactor or a solar tower. It's weird to me that it says that the solar array is... Oh, yeah, I'll bet you because I think the solar arrays that I have, I just stole. Right? I just, like... Snagged them from uh, an existing settlement or something. Okay, so what we want to do now is block the seeds and we'll take this stuff. I like that it says the yield count. That's really convenient. Uh, although I suppose I should probably continue to water and fertilize it until it actually grows. Uh, it'll just be that this blocks this blocks the seeds from going back in. If you just take this out, the seeds that are output will get put back into the input. Which can be really annoying if you're trying to stop growing something. Um, we can go like that. 
And then what I probably want to start doing is taking some of the stuff that I don't have much of and growing it. Like uh, some of the flowers, I, I know that bees have a preference for flowers. How many spaces do we have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. this spring? No, that's green. Six. Seven. Actually, the orchids are really only liked by orchid bees. Eight. Okay. So let's go in order of brightness. That is that. What do I want to do for my couple of trays? Well, I should probably also grow. Uh, if I can plant this, like, yeah, I don't think it'll let me plant it anywhere here. All of this space is already filled up. I'm going to say, like, bee flower, there's like a number of bees that have a preference for bee flower. Um, so I believe I believe this is done now. Yep. So what I can do is I can collect that. Okay, close enough. Right there. Now it's perfectly even. Uh, and we will get fertilizer ready to go in all three of the trays. Similarly, um, we will figure out how to do our liquids. And we got that one. We got that one, we got that one. Okay, so now what do we actually want to grow? Let's find some stuff we don't have a lot of. Uh, and preferably something that won't spoil either. So something that's not actually food. Um, sure, let's grow some slime globs. Um, some Lactarius indigo. And I think two seeds will work here. Yep. Um, so do I have anything else where I only have like one or two of the seeds? I don't have a lot of Selvas. So let's do that um, instead of the Lactarius Indigo. And the crystals you can't grow, um, at least in the trays, I don't think. Um, 
you have three coffee seeds. That might be worth it. Coffee seeds. All right. Neat. Oh. So we'll uh, we'll get a yield of five from the coffee seeds, five from the salvis, five from the snowberry. Good deal. I wonder if I even want to do like another another tier of that. barely goes above my head. Um, probably can't go too far. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud right now. Um, yeah, I always kind of wonder, like, do people want to watch just putzing around like this? Because on the one hand, I think it's really boring. Um, but on the other hand, I think there really is some benefit to people kind of seeing the minutia of, like, how things get wired up or um, how I've got my crafting stations organized or whatever. So I'm, I'm a little bit torn, and I mean, I guess... You know, it technically is a Let's Play, so I should probably be streaming most of the time I'm actually playing, even if it's not super engaging. But, you know, like I said, I'm a little bit torn. Um, but that is going to end this hour. I'm going to get something to eat, and I'll probably be back in a little while for some more. So thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time.